Hello everyone. We continue to show you programming products made by Macrolab IT company. Macrolab is a programming company who deals with creation of automation products for business and other processes. Today we're going to show you a new useful tool which is a small part of another greater automation product. But since this matter can concern many different parties, we decided to extract this tool and show it as a separate product. Here we see a table where we can find some information by rows of a certain sample. The set sample is an invoice like this and which should be sent to appropriate recipients. On each row of table we see variable fields of document that is information to be filled in invoices. They are project ID, project name, partner name, contact person, start date and end date, which are necessary fields for invoice, amounts, and those email addresses to which the document should be sent. Furthermore, the document should be sent in PDF format. Summarizing, the sample should be filled in with appropriate information, converted to PDF file, and be sent to corresponding recipients via field email addresses. Besides, these PDF files should be saved in appropriate folder which is created right next to the current automation file. Here please note that at relevant field of automation file, right name of the set folder is mentioned. If we change the field's name and enter some other folder's name which does not exist next to the automation file, then while running macros we will get a notification that the folder with that name should be created. Ok, please see it. I have recovered the field's name and everything is working again. The program is also checking some conditions. Thus the program does not send emails with attached PDF files to those email addresses in front of which send status is stated. It also does not send emails in case one of these fields are empty or there are no email addresses entered in table. So let's see what will happen if we run macros at this stage. We click on send button and wait a while. The program notifies that the work has been finished. Thus the letter is sent to the recipient of second row. For the third row, the program says that at least one email address is necessary. The letter is also sent to fourth recipient and it didn't go to fifth recipient as end date field is empty. Here below my Outlook program has started where you can see that the program sends appropriate emails with the sample text to recipients also our PDF file is attached. We would like to mention here that we have changed the code of program so as we can record this video and show you draft emails and how it works. Certainly in final version all emails are sent as needed immediately. Here is the second letter for the third recipient too. Now let's close these emails and go to our folder. Here our PDF files have been saved. There is no PDF reader program on this computer other than Google Chrome, so it opens the files as default program. Here we see all information from the table entered in the right places, such as the company name, contact person, send date, amount, start date, end date, and others. We think that this program may be interesting to many users. For such or more global automation products, you may write to our Facebook page or call us by our telephone numbers which you may find in comments of this video. Thanks for your attention. See you.